Hi there guys, today I thought I would do a video and the point of this is, is to test out a an, uh, an online screen recorder called screencastomatic.com uh, I've got myself a free account and basically it uses the Java um, applet to uh, it uses the Java applet to record your desktop so it's like a web application and it uses the Java platform uh, to to you know record your desktop so this is all coming from the web and I think it's a really good looking service so I just wanted to test it out but I thought to myself I do want to still sort of have a an actual um, an actual objective. So I thought I'd take uh, this time to show you Spyware Blaster. Now Spyware Blaster is not an antivirus. It's more of a it's more of a uh, prevention utility. And what it does is is it it puts uh, in Mozilla uh, in Mozilla Firefox. So that's uh, by the way that's something I'm going to come back to in Mozilla Firefox it blocks certain bad uh, um, it blocks certain bad cookies in Internet Explorer it does the same and restricted sites uh, in Internet Explorer uh, you have this section called um, restricted sites and it puts uh, websites in there that it knows are bad and and uh, so it puts them into an Internet Explorer, uh, Internet Explorer's restricted sites, and so then uh, that and uh, it protects you from uh, these sites that it knows about that are bad, so it won't let you go there. You see, so that's really good. So under Internet Explorer, it protects your ActiveX, your cookies. It's, uh, it's got a list of everything it blocks. To be honest, I would just leave everything checked. Here's the uh, the websites that uh, it it blocks. Well, that I told you about Mozilla Firefox. It just blocks uh, cookies and stuff. But really, you can just go to the protection status, and you know, if you've got a big green check mark, you mean it means that everything's all enabled. You've got um, system snapshot. That's more or less a, a just a system restore point. You say or something. I browse pages. Uh, I just leave that as it is. Host safe. Now this just creates a uh, a backup of your host file. So you just click that, and then it and it just creates the uh, the backup, and then boom, that's it. Just forget about it. MISC IE settings. Uh, you can you can you can disable the IE homepage settings area. Uh, you can change the text to display uh, to be displayed after the web page name in the Internet Explorer title bar. You can select the user to change the settings for Flash Killer. Um, there are flash based apps on the internet and this will disable uh, flash and it won't let those ads play basically it'll just go all hardcore you can add uh, you can do your own custom blocking under, ch under check for updates uh, we've got auto update you can, uh, you can, um, you can you can go ahead and purchase auto update and it'll automatically update your definitions uh, options just to uh, use a direct connection now with with checking for updates for if you just want to uh, use this program to protect your computer all you have to do is click check for updates you know so uh, if it downloads updates you'll find that this will either be red or yellow then just go to here just go to the uh, protection status and click enable all protection and then that's it
all that will happen is then is that you don't even you don't even have to uh, keep this open. You can just close it out of it, and then boom, you're ju you protected from everything. So that's it for Spyware Blaster, and that's it for this video. Uh, one little pointer with this screencastomatic.com, uh, it limits the video time for YouTube to 10 minutes. Uh, that's when you want to upload um, for it limits it to 15 minutes rather uh, in that's in the free version if you go uh, for the pro version it gives it it lets you record for up to 60 minutes now in my uh, YouTube account it's enabled for longer than 15 minutes now I only have the uh, the free version of this so I can only record up to 15 minutes because of this service but if I had the pro edition I'd be able to record for an entire hour but um, you can upgrade for only nine dollars a month and and in English currency that's only uh, four and a half pounds so yeah so it's quite cheap really for uh, four and a half pound per year I'd say but uh, I'm just going to stick with free stuff right now. So thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, rate and subscribe if you like this video. And bye for now.